All right, this is how I use Writer. It's an AI program. Um, it's great for coming up with the ideas and helping you write content, um, emails, social media posts, even ad copy and sales pages. So this is the platform. You'll come to just writer.me and you just click on start writing. It's very easy. Um, they do have a free program, but you can pay, um, I think it's like $29 a month. But um, over here, you can pick what language. They have a ton of different languages. You can pick the tone, which I do like this over Jarvis because in Jarvis, a lot of the things you kind of just have to write in. Like for a tone, it just, you just type in whatever you want. But I like that it has ones that are already um, set. So, you know, I want to do enthusiastic, let's say. So um, over here, you can choose the different things. There's blog outline, blog section writing, business ads, emails, um, ads, interview questions, job descriptions, post and caption ideas. That's great for social media, um, meta descriptions, um, song lyrics. Not like I would do that, but that's nice that they have it. And then these YouTube ones are kind of fun too. But um, I primarily use it for the blog idea and blog section writing. So I just did this one, but I'll do it again. I did hydration and breastfeeding is a post that I was going to write. And so I, you can have th up to three variants um, for ideas, but I usually start with just one. So it takes a few seconds um, and it will come up with a couple of different um, he headings like this. Um, and then you can kind of go through. So this one has more, sometimes they don't have to do anything to do with it. So this one I didn't find was exactly what I was looking for. Um, this is more um, the topic I'm looking for is how to breast, how to breastfeed while hydrated. Obviously that doesn't make sense. So I'd reword that, but then it has the different sections and you could just take those and write them yourself. Or you can come in here and um, highlight the words and press paragraph. And it will take a couple seconds and it will write new a paragraph like this. Um, and then if you want more, you can just say, you know, expand. So that will um, add more content to the paragraph if you didn't find there's enough. And then if there's not anything else they feel they, they can write, um, it says no output. Sometimes it will stop in the middle of a sentence. And with that, just highlight the last few words and press append and it will finish the sentence. So I'll just go through and do that for all of them. And one thing you have to do is make sure you fact check things because sometimes it puts things in that are not relevant. Um, so make sure that whatever you're doing is, um, is actually true. But this is a great way to start writing posts and articles. Um, and sometimes I will go through and I will see from the other ones that the other ideas that they gave me to see if they're helpful or not. Um, there's also, so it'll save it. So you can go back and it'll save all of your documents. You can make new folders for, you know, different um, websites. Um, but then if you already know what you're writing about, so sometimes I will do um, like an introductory paragraph. So let's say um, breastfeed. So you just type the topic. You can have up to hundred words. The importance of hydration for breastfeeding moms. And it will write different sections like that. Um, I usually do this for like an introductory paragraph or a conclusion paragraph. Um, and so you can kind of get some different ideas in there and then you can tell it to write more, write less, whatever. Um, emails are kind of nice. So let's say, you know, I have a post that I want to buy, write about Cricut. So Cricut machines, I have no idea what's going to pop up. Um, best Cricut machine for beginners. Cricut Joy, Cricut Explore Air 2, and let's say I want to be convincing. So they'll write me an email here. Um, let's see. So, you know, it gives you the subject name. It says I'm looking for a new Cricut machine. So this one, this obviously doesn't make any sense. Um, so <laughs> you kind of have to play around with it a little bit, but sometimes it can give you ideas. This is probably the worst one that they've given me, but I have gotten much better email ideas in here. Um, and then you can always just say you want more ideas if that's not what you want. Um, let's see, like they have like the landing pages and website copies. I don't know what this one is. I don't think I've used this one. Um, I have no idea. There's a lot of different things that you can do. So if you need an SEO meta description, so let's say breastfeeding hydration, we'll go back to that.
So this one is probably going to be the best one, um, but you can just kind of gift it. I, I really like this for giving ideas and you can do this for any niche. Like I've done this for like, you can see best Disneyland hotels for families. Um, I did um, an introduction for banana chocolate chip cookies. Um, the difference between white cornmeal and yellow cornmeal. So that um, that was pretty helpful that it gave me a little some advice there. Um, so you can do it for recipes. You can do it. I did it for this Yellowstone post, which was really helpful. Um, and it just really kind of helps you get, I don't know, it just helps give you more ideas and write sections of content. And I find that it had really has helped me to um, write my post more efficiently. So this post right here, this is the one I started yesterday about hydration. So it took me about five minutes to get everything generated in there. And now I'm just going in and filling it out. You want to make sure that you add your own personality and your own text. And again, make sure it's not plagiarized. They do have a plagiarized um, thing in here. So if you highlight it and then click plagiarism, it'll double check it across tons of different things to make sure that there are no matches to make sure it's not plagiarized. Um, but there's so many features in this. Um, other ones, Jarvis or Conversion AI, it's really popular, but it's way more expensive. I got this for a lifetime deal. I don't think they have that anymore, but you can try it out um, at the link in my bio. They do have a free account. But overall, I really like this program. Um, you can just copy and paste it and put it into your, directly into your blog posts. But let me know if you have any questions. I do often actually use this now with um, Rank IQ, so I'll copy the stuff. So I'll, after I'm done with this post, I'll copy this all and put it into Rank IQ, and then I will add in more words. So they both work really well together. Um, I've been a big fan. I know AI things are really, really popular right now. So I thought that this would be helpful to give you this kind of option um, that is a little bit more affordable and works, in my opinion, really well. And they're adding more and more features. So that's something to keep in mind is that even if it doesn't have everything that you want right now, it eventually will. So I think that it's just really helpful um, for content writing, especially since I have so many niche websites. It really helps to get some of this content and I've been able to kind of cut out some of my writing from hiring other um, contractors to write content for me because it does a lot of the things I was having them do. So again, if you have any questions, let me know. And I um, am happy to help you in any way.